Welcome to the heart of a Viking. This channel offers elementary art lessons taught by Mrs. Minto from the Cape and Lopen School District in Delaware. I look forward to virtually creating with you. There are new lessons posted weekly. Subscribe to the channel to make sure you don't miss a single one. So go grab your art supplies and your thinking caps and let's begin. How excited are you today, first grade artists? We're going to be assembling our birds. All right, so what you need to do first is you need to go ahead and gather your supplies from last time. We need that pretty colorful circle that we're going to use for the bird's body, and we need the two heads that you can see here on the screen. We're going to start today by coloring the two heads. Okay, so now we're going to get out some tape. I have a type of tape here called masking tape, but I would imagine regular scotch tape would work as well. If you have some feathers, you're going to go ahead and tape the feathers at the back of the bird's body. Sorry, it's a little bit hard to see on the screen here. I was up a little too high, but I'm taping them right at the fold, right in the middle there with the tape on the inside so that when I close it, I don't see any of the tape. I'm making a little adjustment on mine. I could see some of the tape there. Okay, so now that's taped inside. I'm just pushing it down, making sure those feathers are nice and secure. Perfect. All right, so now I'm going to use another piece of tape and I'm going to be taping the pipe cleaner to the front of the fold. So right here, just like this, putting a little piece of tape over that pipe cleaner to hold it in place. Fantastic. And then you can close up your circle once that's taped into place. Excellent. And I'm gonna bend this a little bit so it's a little more like the head. So it's gonna go up and then sort of bend to the left a little too. There we go. All right, so now I'm gonna take my heads, put them facing each other, and turn one of them over. And I'm going to tape the pipe cleaner to the one head. So just the one head, like this. And see how I'm taping it to the white side of the head, not the colorful side. Okay, so now we're gonna put that tape away and replace the tape with a glue stick. And I'm going to be using a glue stick to glue the second head to the first head. So now I'm gonna put a little bit of glue around that tape. I can put it right on the tape, it'll be just fine. And then on the piece of paper, and stick the second head to the first head, just like that. And you might need to hold this for a second with that wire in between. The glue isn't going to want to stick right away. You kind of have to encourage it to stick. So I'm sort of pressing down and holding it for a few moments to get it to stick. All right, let's test it. Yep, that looks good. Okay, so now it's time to play with my sculpture. All right, so your goal right now is to try and get your bird to balance. So when I first started, the little head made the bird fall over to the front. So I'm just kind of moving this wire gently around and it's not working out too good. Let's keep trying, Mrs. Minto. Don't give up. You can do it. Oh, that's pretty good. That's exactly what you want to happen. You want it to sit nicely and also rock nicely because not only are you creating a mobile, but you're also creating a stable. So you want it to balance both sitting and rocking. All right. I hope you had a great time making your balanced Alexander Calder inspired birds and I'll see you back here next time at the Heart of a Viking. HOB artists, don't forget to hop on over to Art Sonia to upload a photograph of your piece of artwork to your art portfolio. I can't wait to see it. <laughs>